All the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind Let it all go So good morning everyone, it is Saturday the 17th of July and apologies for the fact that I look a bit like a beetroot, I'm just, to be honest I'm just cooling down a little bit, I've done one, three of week four of couch to 5k, it's gone so quickly, I don't know how I'm on week four because like in a couple more runs I'll be halfway through which is crazy, um, I've been really pushing myself as well outside of like the kind of program if you've done it before you'll know what I mean um but I can run independently for like at least 10, 10 and a half minutes now and you kind of do like breaks so you do 25 minutes in total I think it is or 30 minutes something like that and you'll do like five minute um warm up and a five minute cool down and then it'll be like run power walk run power walk run power walk that kind of thing and it'll be segmented up and the more you go through it the longer the running sections are and the shorter the walking sections are but um instead of keeping them short i've tried pushing myself so in total <clears throat> i'm running for like 18 and a half minutes and then um speed walking the rest and especially because like the warm up and the cool down bit i don't count as much so i'm really proud of myself but I'm hot, <laughs> it's meant to get up to 28 degrees today where I live, I'm sure it's probably even warmer in some parts of the UK um, and as you can probably hear in the background, uh, Mark is mowing the lawns, he's done the front, he's doing the back and then we are going to finish um, laying down some more membrane and flagstones and like pebbles and rocks and stuff on the other like half of our garden. If you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen like a little mini transformation and you probably saw it in my last vlog actually um, of me starting that um, but things have progressed a lot since then it's looking really good and we've been wanting to tackle the garden for such a long time like obviously the renovation ruined our grass then the dog ruined our grass and we're getting better with the grass um, um, I'm really working on that and we've got like a technique with it but then the other half of our garden which is behind the little fence is like a wild area completely gone wild and we just didn't we weren't able to get into it for a good like seven months of last year and it just got so overgrown and then it became too much to deal with so we just left it but now we've been making like slow little moves and one of the really exciting things with this and I still can't believe that I'm going to tell you this um because I feel so lucky and so excited but I'm actually working with M Spa in this video and we have been sent um, one of their hot tubs which is like a dream, an absolute dream and I'm so excited to set it up and I'm so excited um, to have one. I think it'd be really, really fun, especially because obviously we're not going away this summer. Um, we, we have no plans to go on a holiday and we probably won't even do a staycation to be honest because of the wedding and stuff and just everywhere's booked up. So it feels quite exciting to be able to have that um, in our garden and to be able to work with them. I mean, what a privilege in itself. So. I know how lucky we are and I can't wait to show you, <laughs> I'm so excited, we're going to put it up today, we're going to finish um, like levelling out the floor and then um, we're going to um, inflate it and get it all warmed up and stuff, it's one of those where you can inflate it and have it out and then if you do want to deflate it for the winter months or anything like that you can put it in storage which we thought was a really good option for us because our garden over the next few years will probably change and change and change again as our children grow up and we want to do different things with it. So it's really nice to have something that's flexible to our space and also what's quite cool is that if we ever did deflate it we can lend it out to family members because my auntie rents um hot tubs sometimes just for fun and now we've got one that she could like like just borrow instead and save yourself some pennies so that's quite fun um and i'm really really excited i really can't wait to show you so i'll be showing you that in a bit um i'm gonna get ready though now and get out in the garden and help mark so i'm all showered and it's that warm that my hair is already like half dry i'm not even joking yet. i just need to put some spf on and then I'm going to go and just reweed a few little spots in the area that we're going to do. The kids are watching a new Bluey episode, the dog is sunbathing and Mark is dealing with any like extra patches on the grass. We're so close to getting rid of those now. He's worked so hard, bless him. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to try and 
level out this other side of the garden then we're going to set the hot tub up and um, get that filling and obviously it will need to like heat up and do its thing and, and that kind of thing and then later on we are going to my mum and dad's because they are throwing a like curry night in their garden so a few other family members are going to be there as well so it'd be really nice to see them and we've not got Bill with us this morning but Bill's dad is going to drop Bill off there because Bill really wanted to come so um, we will be reunited with my big boy later as well which I I'm so excited about because I really miss him but I'm going to make myself a quick coffee and then get out in this garden. I thought I would just quickly show you what the kids are having for lunch today. So they've got a baby cucumber, Daisy's already just coughing half of it, um, some cocktail sausages, um, cheese and crackers, one of these um, little pouch things, some strawberries and tomato and Stan has exactly the same but no tomato because he doesn't like tomato do you? No. And this is what me and Mark are having, and um, he's eating his now. We have turkey, cheese, tomato, lettuce, there's honey mustard and ranch, and then some everything but the bagel seasoning on there as well, and a sesame bagel, and I am so hungry after that run, so let's dig in. So I'm on the other side of the gate, which is here with Merlin. And um, so this is what this area looks like now. Do you remember me like weeding this? Look at it. So what we did, we lifted all the existing flagstones up and we put membrane down to help with the weeds. And then we got the cheapest stones we could from B&Q and filled in the gap. So this is like, I'm going to turn you around. So this is a lovely little area now. And on these, on the laurel here, there's some fairy lights that come on at night and it's all weed free. <laughs> and I weeded all of here. And then my mum and dad gave me some plants. Um, so we've got, um, I don't actually know what some of them are called in all honesty, but I do know that I have some rosemary and some other nice little baby plants growing. Um, sorry, it's so bright, by the way, I can't do anything about the sun, but this is this area. And what we want to do is do the same over here. So as you can see, I've already weeded this once before, but weeds come back very quickly. So what we're going to do today is lift up probably the flagstones from here onwards and then we are going to put the membrane down and then go and get some more stones and that is our plan and then the hot tub should hopefully go on here and all, all be nice and level so wish us luck oh sorry there's a dog hair on on the lens right we have taken up all the flagstones and i'm just in the process of weeding and leveling out the, the floor and um, mark's going to be in key to get some more stones and then it's membrane down flagstones back down and then stones down and then we can do the exciting stuff which is put up the hot tub um, but i'll turn you around and show you what i've done so far <laughs> So these are all the flagstones that we've taken up. They were super heavy, but we got there in the end. Um, this old tool that we've got really helps with that. We just get it under them, under the sides, and then I lift it up while I've got my gloves on. Um, and this is what it all looks like at the moment. So I'm just leveling out a little bit with some old compass that I have that we don't need. Um, so this corner here, there's a bit of a slope leveling that out and then leveling this bit here and then I will start putting the membrane down and then when Mark comes back we can just finish it off. I don't think I've managed those five stones on my own so I'll just do what I can for now. So these are the stones that we've got from being key they're natural round mix brown decorative stone 14 to 20 millimeter the cheapest ones they do basically and all the flags are down and the membranes down so we're gonna fill in the gaps and it is really hot okay so this is the hot tub that we've gone for and it's the m spa veto it seats six people and it's a square one it's got the m1 auto inflation heat tech variable speed bubble o3 ozonator energy saving timer smart filtration uvc sanitizer anti-icing system 
kid safety lock and antibacterial fabric and this is the black one and um, looks really nice so we're gonna unbox this now and try and get it all set up and we've got a few extras as well to show you um, which I will do so now these are the accessories that we've got to go with our Vito Spa. So, M Spa do loads of different ones, but these are the ones that we have. So we have a spa cover. Um, this is suitable for any six bather spas. Um, these are pretty important if you are getting a hot tub because obviously you want to protect it and keep it safe. We have an ice box, which is really cool. So you um, fill the middle with ice and then you can keep your drinks on it and stuff and it floats, which is such a clever idea. And we have a filter cartridge and there's two in a pack here and then finally we've got the headrest and cup holder combo pack so all we need to do now is try and put it all together so we have everything out of the box as you can see and i've just spotted here that there is a qr code so we are gonna scan it and watch the video So as you can see it's completely inflated and literally all we needed to do was press bubble and up and it just did it for me <laughs> which was amazing and now we are just putting um, water in so it'll probably take a while to get to the maximum fill level which you can see there but we're just going to leave it going and then hopefully sometime soon we can enjoy this bad boy. So we are having a bit of a kitchen disco actually I don't know if you can hear we're waiting for um Bill to get home. He is probably just around the corner actually because they've just rung. So yeah, it's time to go and enjoy ourselves. I feel like we've earned it after today. I'm absolutely knackered. So let's go and have some Prosecco and some amazing Indian food that my mum has cooked in the garden and enjoy ourselves. So we are on our way, we're all reunited and it feels so good and yeah we're just walking. Are you excited? Yes. I'm really excited. I All I ever need is here with you. had a slight little detour because um, there was a lovely lady, bless her, um, an elderly lady and she couldn't find her way home so we just walked her home because well that's what you do isn't it? You're right buddy? But she was so nice. And now we are back on track and I'm sweating so bad. <laughs>
so we are back home from my mum's now and we had such a nice time with family it was so good and the kids are in bed and obviously the sun is still out because it's summer and i just thought you know what instead of just vegetating in front of the telly i'm gonna get in the hot tub now just on my own mark's watching something they're all asleep i'm gonna read my book i've got some snacks i'll show you everything in a second because this thing here is so cool and i'm just gonna relax and i can't wait because it's been such a busy last few weeks and i'm exhausted from everything that's gone on recently i'll fill you in actually when i'm relaxing and um, i'm just gonna get in this hot tub and thank my lucky stars that i get to do it like this because this is an amazing opportunity and we're very very lucky so let's get in and let's get relaxing so i thought i would show you the setup in all of its glory so we have a few extra accessories so we've got these headrests here so there's four seats in every corner that are nice and padded and then you can rest your head back in here which is amazing that is the filter in there it comes with a sleeve and then you change that regularly to keep it nice and clean get rid of any bits and bobs and then this is a drinks holder here so i have a bacardi and coke tonight because i was just really fancying one with lots of ice and then there's another headrest as well and then to jazz everywhere up we put some um steak solar paneled lights down here so there's one there and there's one there i've got my towel a nice jazzy pink one and then there's actually some fairy lights here so when the sun sets we should be having a bit of a glow which i thought would be really nice and my hydrangea is flowering now and we're really lucky with that one because it gets pink blue and purple flowers and i believe that's down to the ph in the soil so we're quite lucky that we have soil that gives lots of different colors so yeah it just needs me in there now so i can't wait oh and this this little flotation thing here see all these drinks holes you can put all your drinks in if you want to and then inside there's a waterproof section so you could put ice in here and like a bottle of fizz if you wanted or wine but i've got my phone i've got some snacks and then this is the book i'm reading at the moment which is page two and someone i used to know and i'm really enjoying it so I need to get in and stop talking, come on. bubbles off let me let me show you so it has this little inbuilt control this is how you inflate it and everything so it probably took maybe about i think it's about six minutes it's meant to take to inflate it and you literally press two buttons at the same time and it does it all for you so i didn't have to like blow it up or anything because i was really worried about that um but there's a heater option so you can change the temperature up and down depending on the weather so obviously at the moment it's really hot here so i haven't got this on full whack because i don't want to be super hot um there's obviously the filter function there's a timer function there's um uvc ozone options and you can use this to deflate it as well so it's always so handy it makes me feel really technical like back to the future um so yeah it's really cool but i've just turned the bubbles off there's like three options uh, for the bubbles depending on like how intense you want it and stuff um but i just thought i'd come and talk to you and let you know what i think because i am loving this it's so exciting it beats like just sitting in and looking through like telly or tiktok for a night i've got to say especially because like the sun's going down and it's been like a really long day um like with the run and doing the garden and stuff and seeing family and it's just nice to have a bit of time for me um i like i've not caught up with you in ages this last week I think that's the thing sometimes on YouTube I'm not as um, present day to day on here as than say what I would be on Instagram. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram you probably won't know that Stan was in Ainey again with croup. Um, he's really susceptible to it and some kids just are and I know the signs now so this time I just wrangled Ainey and they could hear him over the phone and it's like a seal like bark type of cough. 
obviously at the moment a cough is not something that you want but they could hear it and um, they said right away bring him in he needs um, steroids and um, so I did I drove him in and it was about I think about one o'clock that we got there we didn't leave until about five in the morning because it was just so busy so um, that really like put us off um, out of kilter if you know what I mean like just the last week's been really intense because he's been off school because obviously well preschool he only goes a few days a week anyway um, but I've not been able to work because I would not send my kids in if they were poorly both um, for their benefit and also like the benefit of other children and other families because you just don't want stuff spreading at the moment because it's hard enough for families as it is with everything to do with Covid <laughs> let alone other bugs going around um, and then on Friday, I feel really weird saying this, but on Friday, I spoke to my GP and I said that I was not feeling okay. And it is okay not to be okay. Um, and um, I think that I might have something, well, my GP thinks I might have something called PMDD. But I don't want to talk about all of this now in this video because, like, it will just kill the mood and I'm having such a good time. Um, but I just feel like to be able to sit here now, and relax and do something for me and just sort of take my foot off the pedal and calm down. It, I feel so, so lucky. I cannot tell you enough. So I know that M Spa team will be watching this because all my videos get you approval, but just thank you because you had no idea, but you've really made a difference to me this weekend. So thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill now, let the sun set, look at the birds, watch my dog. He is just meddling right behind you on behind the camera and um, read my book for a bit and then I'm going to go in and chill with Mark I think and get into bed and start <laughs> a new day all over again um, but I hope that you found this useful if you have any questions at all let me know down below obviously this is new to me we're learning how to use it and we're like novices um, but anything that I can look up for you or I can answer I obviously will do um, but they are fantastic and we just feel so lucky and the nice thing about this one is because you can inflate it and then deflate it I could like deflate it clean it out lend it to a family member if they've got like you know they want to do something special for a weekend maybe it's a birthday um we can move it around the garden as well which I think is quite nice because as we get older like we've done so much to work to this house already and the garden's kind of next on our list uh, slowly but surely and it just means that this is going to be really portable and it means that we can move it around everywhere and take good care of it and it's gorgeous as well we have like a square shaped one um and I just think it looks quite trendy as hot tubs go um but yeah <laughs> i feel so relaxed it's so nice apart from the fact that i think my dog is chewing a bit of fence <laughs> so on that note i'm going to try and get him to stop doing that from my bubbly quarters and then enjoy the rest of my book but yeah thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll speak to you all really really soon